F-22 Stealth Fighter vs. Russia's Pak Bok, who wins? This year marks a decade since the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor was declared operational with the U.S. Air Force. Billed by many as the most capable air superiority fighter ever built, the Raptor only recently proved its mettle in combat over Syria and Iraq about a year ago. But the jet wasn't used to annihilate the Soviet air armada over the full the gap or rip apart an advanced enemy integrated air defense system as its designers had envisioned. Instead, the Raptor has most been relegated to a role of a flying sensor platform. Nonetheless, the day is coming when the F-22 could face a foe that might have a chance of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with it and winning albeit a small one. Russia and China are hard at work developing the Chengdu J-20 and the Sukhoi T-50 Pak Bok. Of these two machines, the Pak Bok is probably the more serious challenger. Despite the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia has somehow managed to retain a more or less credible defense industrial base even if it's just a shadow of its former self. Everything about the Pak Ba suggests that it is similar in concept to the Raptor being optimized as a fast, high-flying and stealthy air superiority fighter. However, as one might expect, the Russians put more emphasis on certain characteristics and less on others. One good example is stealth. The Pak Ba's design places are less emphasis on all aspect low observables. Instead, it focuses on frontal aspect stealth thus it has a so-called PAC man signature whereas the F-22S signature looks more like a spider if one were to look at it from a god's eye view. Stealth is where the F-22 hold the huge advantage over the Russian jet. In terms of sheer kinematics, the pack and the F-22 are probably comparable especially once the Pak Ba received new engines. The Russian jet's current is a 117 engines are decent, but ultimately the plane will need to re-equip with the developmental S-30 motors to fully exploit the capabilities of its airframe. Both aircraft are capable of cruising faster than the speed of sound. The Raptor is able to maintain a hair over Mach 1.8 without afterburners while the Pak Ba can probably do at least Mach 1.6 without the blowers engaged. Max operational altitude is 60004 for the F-22 and is probably similar for the Pak Ba. For max speed. The Raptor is redlined at Mach 2.0 because of the limitations of its radar absorbent materials. I would expect a similar limit for the Sukhoi. While the F-22 might be holding the better hand when it comes to stealth, the Russians have the edge in maneuverability. The Pak Ba is equipped with three-dimensional thrust vectoring and all indications seem point to the Pak Ba having an edge in terms of ability. The Russians are also likely to have a helmet-mounted queuing system and high off go missile integrated on the Pak Ba from A1. Meanwhile, the Raptor will finally have the AIM-9X integrated in 2017 and the Air Force is slowing stumbling toward getting a helmet-mounted queuing system on board the F-22 by 2020. On the plus side, given the state of the Russian economy, the Pak Ba probably won't be operational by then. In terms of avionics, the Raptor probably has the edge in terms of sensor fusion and pilot vehicle interface. The Russians don't have the best track record for developing user-friendly cockpits. One look at the cockpit of a MiG-29 tells the story but they are getting better. Overall sensor performance might be comparable, 
Russians make decent radars and they have excellent electronic warfare systems. All things being equal, if stealth turns out to be everything it's cracked up to be against a peer level threat, the pac pa could be at a distinctive disadvantage. If the U.S. Air Force's faith in stealth proves to be a fallacy, the pac pa holds the edge. But in the end, both are equal. Thank you for watching. Please, like, command and subscribe.